next topic is C programming, C or C++. You need not focus deep in the C programming. Just basic C programming should be sufficient. Look into the syntax and loops, arrays, pointers, recursion and strings. These topics are basics in the C or C++. So these should be sufficient. Also look into pointers, algorithms, different data structures like stacks, queues and linked list. So these should be sufficient. Just basics are enough. You need not go deep here. Uh, also look into the operating systems and uh, type def and macros in C. Also different data storage types like int, string, etc. And their manipulations and NDNS. So these are questions will be very basics from this C programming. Also just have a look at the real time operating systems in terms of multi-thread programming, multitasking and inter-process communication and uh, have a basic understanding on computer architecture concepts like MMU, cache, and scheduling algorithm and networking. Although these are not needed, just have a look at them if you have time. Otherwise, basics would do. And uh, this is the Inyabix platform again that I have used. So just uh, look into the declarations. These are some of the important topics that I have underlined. So declaration, expressions, functions, pointers, strings, and bitwise operations, you know, arrays, structures, unions, type def, and memory allocation. Just uh, these should be sufficient. You need not go much deeper into the C programming as far as hardware role is concerned. Coming to the resources, almost all of my preparation was done from these two videos. You can directly search it in YouTube. Top 100 MCQs in C and top 50 MCQs in C. I What I did was just started watching them like a movie and I watched them twice. That should be sufficient. There uh, he would be explaining all questions in the C along with the answers. So just watch them, you need not take notes or anything. If you want, you can take screenshots, but that should be sufficient. For my practice, I have did questions from India Bigs, like I said, and uh, also used Geeks for Geeks for multiple choice questions and data structures from Geeks for Geeks. These three resources would be sufficient for the C programming practice. And there are more resources you can use from Geeks for Geeks, W3 schools and uh, other different other resources online that are available online. If you have time you do this otherwise i'd suggest you to just watch these two videos first then solve some questions in india Bix and geeks for geeks that should be sufficient